Good evening, Empower Beneficiaries. Uh, I've been silent on this platform for more than two days. It is due to the fact that uh, uh, a lot of activities are actually going on behind the scene. So um, I think this is the best time to address you all. Today I would like to address you on the, the Federal Government Loan Grant Scheme and the updates with regards to our nine months outstanding stipend. Well, uh, the Federal Government Loan and Grant Scheme is currently ongoing, new application is ongoing, and also for people who have applied before, there is actually a room has been provided for them to validate their NIM. Once you are able to submit your NIM, I want to assure you that Within this week or next week, your 50,000 Naira will actually be credited to your account. Yes, if you want to validate, how do you validate? First of all, you log in to the loan portal. After logging into the loan portal, you input your phone number. Make sure the phone number you are putting is the one you use to register for the program. Uh, after doing that, it will take you to where you will be expected to input your six-digit OTP code. After doing that, minimize the browser and go to your message section. Type allow in capital letter, then send this to 2442. After sending this to 2442, a message will pop up and it will say you have been unsubscribed from DND service. After that, it is expected that the OTP should follow. So that you can now go back to the federal government loan and grant portal and improve your OTP. If you do, if you follow this procedure as I've said earlier, and it doesn't work, then you are expected to keep repeating it, be repeating it, be repeating it, be repeating it. You can repeat it for three or four days. Within three or four days, your OTP will surely come. I want to let all of you know that without you validating your NIM. There will be no payment for you because the panel investigating the National Social Adjustment Program recommended that any intervention from this government must be traceable and must be linked to somebody's NIM or their BBM. So, for you to benefit from any intervention from this current administration, you must have either your BBM or NIM. So, you have to validate it in order. To receive your 50,000 grant. For loan applicants, the procedure is the same. You log into your dashboard, input your name, verify it, then wait for your loan to be approved. So if you do it today, it doesn't work. You can try it tomorrow, you can try it next tomorrow. Within four days, it will work. And you can keep repeating it today. By the time you do it, maybe more than 10 or 20 times, your OTP will come. But just bear it in mind that there will be no payment for you if you did not validate your NIM. Then the uh, Empower Beneficiaries, uh, we are waiting for another approval from Mr. President. He actually approved the payment of your nine month of studies stipend in December before the program was suspended. As it stands, all is set. Payment is set to continue. Once Mr. President is able to give approval to that effect, your payments will actually continue. People are going to receive their 9 to 12 months outstanding stipend so that a new portal will be open for the new Empower program to start. And uh, my insider within the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs is trying to let me know that within this week or next week, a minister will emerge from the ministry. So what I don't know is uh, if it's actually going to be better ahead that will continue or if the new person is coming. Whatever is the case, that's none of our business. Our business is that we want a new minister to be at the end of affairs and we want our nine months outstanding event to be clear. And also this morning some people gave us some advice on what they said to write a letter and take it Islamic cleric who are currently doing consider that they should use their platform to call on the attention of the government to pay empower beneficiaries and leave the suspension of the National Social Investment Program. So I, I actually, to me, the, the advice actually 
makes a lot of sense despite the fact that it is coming late but that will not be a problem i have taken it i took it upon myself that on friday i will head to kaduna i will go to sultan bello i will actually submit a letter to dr ahmed abubakar Gumi to help us use his platform to help us use his voice to call the attention of the mr president to pay our nine months outstanding stipend and then leave the suspension on the national social investment program i decided to choose dr ahmed gumi because he is very close to me and in zaria is in kaduna so from zaria to kaduna is just one hour so is that uh, kaduna is a place i can go in a day and still come back and the cost of transportation is also very low and dr ahmed gumi is one of the most vocal voice when it comes to public affairs commentary in this country Whenever he talks, you see it being properly published by various newspapers, various TV channels. So I know that by the time he talks about Empower, newspapers and new cha news channels will also publish it. And with that, it will get to where we want it to get and the attention of Mr. President will be drawn to the issue. So these are the few things I would love you, I would love to brief you about. And okay, sorry. Concerning the letter we submitted to the Federal Ministry of uh, Finance requesting to have an audience with the Minister and uh, up to now we have not received any signal from the Ministry. So once there is a signal from the Ministry, I will be the first person to announce this to you on Twitter, on Facebook and on YouTube. So thank you all our beneficiaries, Aluta Continua, Victoria Asaka.